Hello everyone, this is Brian from sapiensbrian.com In this video, I want to show you Nokia Drive for Windows Phone 7 Well, if you are not connected to any data network, you will see this message But actually, I found that data connection is not needed to open the app What I do is to switch on the Wi-Fi signal without connecting to any Wi-Fi network that will allow you to go into the app so this is Nokia Drive it supports both portrait and landscape mode so the interface of Nokia Drive is optimized for the use while driving the font and the buttons are slightly bigger than the usual ones so there are two buttons at the top zoom in and zoom out and the compass at the bottom the top left corner is to show how far we have traveled and the middle one is the speed of the vehicle and the bottom one is the option button so in option we can change the map to 2D or 3D search for a destination change some settings um, read some introduction of Nokia Drive uh, or send the feedback about the app to Nokia so let's see what we can do in settings in settings, we can change the map color to day or night. So, uh, since it is at night right now, let me switch to night mode. Uh, we can also enable landmarks in the map. Uh, manage the map. So we can install new maps, delete the existing one. So right now I have the map of Malaysia loaded in my phone. Um, manage the turn-by-turn -turn navigation voice so right now I have Cantonese and English so we can actually install a new one as well change the unit in the map uh, clear the search history or switch on and off the GPS signal alright let's search for a destination so the current location is displayed over here and uh, if I am typing while I'm typing suggestion will be given so let's say I want to go to Tesco this is the search results and in this view a small map will be shown on the left and all the search results will be shown on the right this is actually one of the features that I like the most in Nokia Drive. The map will show exactly where is the location of the destination. And while I'm swiping sideways over here, the map will change accordingly to my selection. So this makes searching for the right destination so much easier in Nokia Drive. Okay. So let's say I want to go here. So in this view, it will give you the overview of the journey, how far we need to travel, 3.6 km, and uh, the estimated time is 7 minutes, and of course, uh, the destination name and the address. So let's start the journey. Now turn left and then immediately turn right. Well, Data connection is only needed when we want to search for places. So after the destination is set, we can actually safely turn off the Wi-Fi signal or any data connection. Okay, we can still go back to Nokia Drive. Alright, so let's start driving. After 
One kilometer, turn sharply right. So we have reached the destination. Okay, one more thing I want to add is that we can view Nokia Drive in a full screen mode. Just tap on the screen, we'll give you the full screen view. Tap the back button, we'll bring back the left display panel. And one more thing I want to clarify is that I'm now running Nokia Drive on my LG Optimus 7. So this is not the final version of Nokia Drive for non-Nokia phone. So hopefully you will see Nokia Drive in marketplace for non-Nokia phone very soon. Um, so just want to give you a sneak preview of what is Nokia Drive. So thank you for watching.